Dr. Jason Saunders here with HBOT USA and another video, Frequently Asked Question. Today we're going to talk about hyperbaric oxygen and the microbiome. It's a question we get a lot online. Uh, I get a lot of emails on this. So I just wanted to cover uh, some broad concepts to understand, ultimately to understand even a bigger picture, not just uh, hyperbaric in the microbiome, but hyperbaric in your immune system. So it's complicated and there are quite a few different mechanisms. Uh, that are all particular to how this works, but I'm gonna try to break it down as best as I can for you. So, um, when we're exposed to hyperbaric oxygen, which basically means you know pressurized air and or pressurized oxygen levels, uh, because of the amount of pressure and the amount of oxygen, we're able to absorb a much greater level of oxygen inside that type of environment than we can uh, you know, breathing the air that you and I are breathing right now. And so that's really the main mechanism by which the absorption occurs, pressure and oxygen concentration creates a gradient. That gradient allows an increased absorption of oxygen into our body, uh, fueling it with higher levels of oxygen for each cell. Every cell in our body basically uses oxygen as a um, nutrient for creating energy. So what is the effect of hyperbaric oxygen on our immune system specifically? There are a few pieces. One is uh, just as a result of the increased oxygen level, it tends to upregulate our immune system. And so right away, even after just an hour or two, let alone, you know, 10, 20 or more, uh, that extra oxygen literally increases our own white blood cell activation. So it increases neutrophils and macrophages, which are a big part of our immune system's ability to fight infection. So that's one mechanism. Another mechanism is that uh, most of these pathogens, the bacteria in our body that create, you know, problems for our, for us and for our health, most of these pathogens are anaerobic. What that means is they live in either low or no oxygen environments. And so as we raise the body's oxygen level, we make it very uncomfortable for these infections to live. It's one of the main reasons, let's say in a hospital setting, that they'll use hyperbaric oxygen for infections like osteomyelitis or gangrene. These are anaerobic infections that create massive problems for people. And by increasing our oxygen levels a great deal, it literally uh, makes the environment of our body uh, not conducive to these pathogens being able to live. And so there's actually an antibiotic or an antimicrobial effect of hyperbaric oxygen when it comes to anaerobic pathogens specifically. On that same topic, it also helps to break down biofilms. So a lot of these anaerobic uh, bacteria, especially, they grow these bio or, or mold um, species, they grow these biofilms, which are ultimately these surroundings uh, around the infection itself. And what that does is it helps to allow the, the microbe to create uh, or to isolate itself in that low oxygen environment. And so not only does the high oxygen just make it not conducive for those um, microbes to live there, but it also actually helps to break the biofilms down that a lot of these microorganisms use to protect themselves to keep that low oxygen environment. Uh, for their for their own well-being. So we have increased in neutrophil and macrophage, which is increasing our white blood cell activation. We have uh, antimicrobial or almost an antibiotic effect, uh, especially when it comes to pathogens that are anaerobic. We have a breaking down of the biofilms, which these microorganisms use to protect themselves. And lastly, we create a shift in the microbiome as a whole because most of our probiotic, which are the good bacteria that live inside of us, are either aerobic or at least oxygen tolerant. And so what that really means is in this higher oxygen environment, we are not only killing and or making it very difficult for these anaerobic pathogens to live in and on us, but we're also feeding, fueling, and improving the environment for the probiotic, the good bacteria that live in us and on us, uh, which allows our body to shift its, uh, the microbiota, the, 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 the petri dish that we are, it shifts the entire environment into a higher oxygen level, which improves the ability for our probiotic to live and to thrive, which improves our immune system while, like I said, killing and or at least making it very uncomfortable for most of these pathogens to also uh, coexist 
inside or on our body. And so those are basically the four main mechanisms that hyperbaric oxygen affects our immune system. I'll link a few articles down below uh, just to uh, have references for what I'm talking about in this particular video. So feel free to check out those references and uh, please subscribe to our HBOT USA YouTube channel. Talk to you soon.